At the University of Arkansas, we've seen uh, Castleman's disease patients since the mid-1990s. Uh, Castleman's disease is a rare disorder and approximately 1,000 patients are uh, uh, diagnosed uh, every year in the United States. Um, because it's a rare disease, it's very important to raise awareness of the disease because the diagnosis is often missed uh, or delayed. Uh, and in the idiopathic multicentric form of the disease, uh, called, uh, also called IMCD, uh, uh, the historical mortality has been in the order of 30 to 35 percent in the first five years. So uh, being aware of the disease is important. Um, the, I'm, I founded uh, a society called the Castleman's Disease Collaborative Network together with Dr. David Fagenbaum. Um, and this is an organization uh, which integrates patient uh, advocacy uh, with awareness of the disease and information for patients and also stimulates uh, and funds uh, both uh, uh, scientific research and clinical research. Um, with the Castle Disease Collaborative Network and uh, its uh, collection of scientists and researchers from all over the world, we formulated diagnostic criteria for IMCD, which I will uh, present. And we have also uh, uh, formulated a uh, therapeutic algorithm uh, for the disease. Because the disease uh, in the past was treated with a multitude of agents and there was no clarity on how to manage the disease. We think that one of the mainstays of the disease should be with monoclonal antibodies that, that target cytokines such as uh, interleukin-6 and particularly siltuximab has found to be effective uh, in IMCD. Uh, and together with the CM CDCN, we've also found therapies which are uh, potentially effective uh, for non-responders to siltuximab. So overall, we try to improve awareness of this rare disease, <coughs> uh, promote uh, the accurate and efficient diagnosis, uh, and uh, uh, improve uh, the treatment of the disease and its overall outcome. And in fact, recent data suggests with, uh, that with the introduction of uh, antibodies targeting uh, interleukin-6, like sultuximab, the outcomes have indeed uh, improved uh, uh, in recent years.